There are some companies that are so consistent, so well-managed, so innovative, that they deserve a place as what's known as a core holding in virtually anyone's portfolio. Take a long, long, long time Kramer Fade 3M, diversified industrial that's led by the truly bankable Inga Tulin. When you hear 3M, you probably think about post-it notes or scotch tape, but the truth is this is an incredibly innovative company with strong businesses in all sorts of end markets, everything from healthcare, electronics, energy, industrial safety, graphics, and the consumer. 3M is the number one player in most of its markets where they compete. And the company's constantly inventing new products that are tailor-made for various regions all over the globe. Their latest quarter report at the end of January was much better than expected. Despite the impact of the strong dollar, it's been hurting the numbers for all U.S.-based multinational companies. And when you look at 3M on a constant currency basis, really the only way to look at it, their organic growth came in at an amazing 6.3%, with the company showing strength all over the globe. Now, over the past 12 months, 3M, which supports a 2.5% yield at these levels, has given you a terrific 28% return, including reinvested dividends. I think the stock has much more room to run. Don't take it from me. Let's check in with Inga Tulin. He's the terrific chairman and CEO of 3M to hear more about his company and where it's headed. Mr. Tulin, welcome to Mad Money. Thank you, Yem. Thank you. Thank you for having me, and uh, congratulations to the 10 years anniversary of Mad Money. I tried to be here last week, but unfortunately it didn't work as I was out on a trip, but congratulations to you. Well, we are thrilled to have you, sir. And one of the things that I just love about your company under you, uh, and previous predecessors, but really something you've done, you reinvent the company every few years. So why don't you help our viewers by saying how many of your products did not exist five years ago and how much is that responsible for your growth? Well, today, that's around 32 to 33 percent of products that did not exist five years ago. And we call that the uh, new product vitality index, which is an important element for us. Uh, the primary uh, growth objective is, of, of course, organic local currency growth. So when you see that, we have had a target of uh, three to six, and we actually came in higher last year. The new product flow is helping it quite a bit relative to growth. So it's a very, very important element. And that's also why you can stay relevant to your customers, a very important metric that we are focusing on. Well, you are, to me, the most international of American companies. How does that help your company grow? Well, first of all, I think it's important, if you have decided, like we did many years ago, that we would like to be part of technology conversion and demographic change, that is happening not only in the United States, but all over the world. So I think that's an important element. That also means that you need to get leaders in place that understand context, which I will call context intelligence. And I think 3M, over many, many years, have done a good job to develop leaders. So when you think about my team today, and as you know, I've lived many places around the world, but the team today in top management, they have been born and raised in Canada, Australia, United States, Korea, Spain, Saudi Arabia, and India, in addition to Sweden, of course. And the rest of the team, they have lived places. They have lived in Brazil, Russia, Japan, Belgium, UK, Hong Kong, and South Africa. You take that together, you will understand the context of how to do business on a global scale. And that is an important element for us in our model. Well, I think that it's important for people to understand in real life what this means. For instance, you like to convert local mega trends to commercialization, which is brilliant. Let's give people the example of China and air and water quality and what you're doing. Yeah. So I think most people uh, see and understand global megatrends, and I think that can be very academic, to be honest. You know, you see it, you try to understand it, and you can put the dashboard together. I think the power is when you can be in the country and really understand what is happening here in my specific country. So in China, uh, in addition to that the economy is type of not shifting, but to expanding to more domestic businesses, there's three big mega trends there. One is air pollution, the other is clean water, and the third one is food safety. We play in all of them. So if you go into air pollution with our technology base, which is non-woven, that is where we develop respirators very specific for the Chinese market to their needs. And I think it's an important element that we can 
use both global megatrends, but then be very specific with local capabilities, both in terms of research and development, but also manufacturing capabilities, based on what that market is telling us, what the customers and the market is telling us. At the same time, you run a disciplined operation financially. Financially, you've returned $7.9 billion to shareholders via dividends and gross share repurchases. You care about portfolio management, investing in innovation, and business transformation. This portfolio management and versus investing and returning capital must be huge decisions for you as a CEO. Well, one of the key objectives uh, and responsibility of the CEO is to make sure that you have the capital allocation is correct. And we have, uh, since a couple of years, been more aggressive relative to lever our balance sheet, which I think have been appreciated by most, if not all. Prime objective for us is to grow our business. So I think that's where the first the money should go. But I, if you think about our history, we have had now 98 years without interruption relative to pay dividends. And we have had 57 consecutive year of an annual dividend increase. So this year, in, in, we announced in, uh, in 2014 an increase of 20 percent, followed by the year before with 35 percent. So we have a very strong balance sheet. We have a very strong operation. We have a sustainable model that is generating a lot of cash. So we get the freedom to do all the things you're talking about. And I think that's an important element when you do business in the long run. And, and 3M, it, we are in the business for the long run. I can't, I, have to, I can't resist because you keep mentioning the word element. Your website has a periodic table of elements that has all of your new products. Is that something that you care passionately about, just trying to get people who are investors to understand the greatness of 3M? Well, I think the important thing is we have 46 technology platforms, and they can be combined for solutions. But more importantly is the way in the front that we take in information. We have two uh, processes that we use. One is called customer-inspired innovation. The other one is called idea to innovation, eye to eye. They are important because when we take in the information, it's very tailored either to a specific customers in the customer-inspired innovation model, or in the eye to eye, which is more a consumer-related uh, model. Those ideas are coming in, and then we use the technology platforms. I said there is 46 of them, and the unique thing is they are owned by the company. They are not owned by one specific division or one specific country or subsidiary. We own it as an enterprise, meaning there is an open innovation inside of 3M, and there is an open innovation out with our customers. So if you take uh, uh, one of the platforms, let's say non-woven technology. From non-woven, we are producing respirators, as we talked about, which is around safety for people and consumers. We have filtreat, that is both the water and air filtration. And then we have an acoustic, acoustic model there, which the brand that most people we see on the street call Thinsulate. Thinsulate is, of course, you see it on jackets, shoes, uh, caps, but you will also, when you take a plane and fly away, there will be acoustic material of Thinsulate in the plane, and you will have the same in a car. So if you think right. about it, we touch consumers, we, we, we touch in the industrial, we touch people. So 3M Science Applied to Life is a good example coming out from only one of the 46 technology platforms. Well, that's a great way to leave it. I want to thank Ingo Tullini, the chairman, president, and CEO of 3M. Congratulations, sir, for all the success that you've given to so many shareholders. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. This is, when I say a core portfolio holding, what I mean is, is that if you had to start a portfolio, put this one in it, you'll never regret it. May have money's back in. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.